Hi, welcome to my tutorial on cycling and scrolling. I've had a couple of requests for this, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you all. Um, first of all, make sure this vortex color is off because it does darken everything up, okay? So I'm going to click on that, and we're going to go in, in and get us a picture. Okay, this will work. Now it looks like it has, it's one picture, but it looks like it has four different colors. Well, it does because each cell is going to be different. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on On. Cell frames, it varies on how fast or slow you want your colors to change. So we're going to try a three here. In mode, you go down to cycling. Now most of the times I found e in 256 or 512, if you put a 128 in here, and number of cells, well it looks like there's four, so we're just going to put a four. Then we're going to click, apply changes, and what we're going to get is a picture that's changing colors. Now, if it varies on what you want to do. If you want to go slower or faster, we'll just throw a six in here and see what happens. There, it's changing colors for you. Another thing is you can also do it with two frames. Okay, I just have a red and blue frame here. Now, all we're going to do here in the cell numbers is change this to a two. And click apply. And that's what it looks like. Now, if we change this, let's say, to a two, wait till you see this. Yeah, that would drive anybody crazy. So that's all there is to doing something like uh, the cycling. It varies on how fast or slow you want it to go. Now what I'm going to do is show you scrolling. We're just going to throw another picture in here. Now in scrolling, you don't need all these numbers. So we're going to get rid of the two. Change this to scrolling. Oops. Get rid of the 128s and the twos. You can also put a, a number in the cell frames if you'd like, but you don't have to. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a 3 in here for now. Okay, and you'll see what happens here. Now you see it's scrolling across. What you could also do is put a minus. If you put, let me see if I can click on it, there we go. Put a minus in here, a minus 3, click apply changes, and it's actually going the opposite way. You can also change, get rid of this one, and come down here, and if you put a 3, and click apply, you'll see it going up. And if you put a minus, you'll see it going down. Here's the cool part about this. Let's say we're going to make this a 4. Let's make this top one a 6, okay? Apply changes. And now it's on an angle. And the same thing works the other way. If you put a minus in front of it, and apply changes, it comes down. You can also do other things with these. You've got to play around a little bit. You can put a point 0.1 here, or point 0.2, a point 0.3 down here, or just leave that bottom one alone if you want, and click, and it'll really, really slow it down. You can see how slow it's going. Okay, I hope that helps you, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me at SketchUp Gimp and Fun, my group on IMVU, and I'll get back to you and help you out as best I can. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.